iGenity is a proud sponsor of I Am Angus. For more information, visit iGenity.com. Well, Rosetta Farm is a, is a registered Angus herd in, in Moncton, Maryland. Uh, we're located just north of Baltimore. Uh, because of this, there's not a lot of commercial cattle in this area, and commercial bull sales are, uh, are hard, to, uh, hard to develop in this area, so we concentrated on developing a branded beef program and then putting together a, a pool of, of cooperator herds to uh, help us produce this product. Even though we're limited in terms of how much we can sell our great genetics for on the cattle side, we're sitting in the perfect location in Baltimore, in Moncton, uh, between New York and Richmond, where you've got the greatest proliferation of upscaled steakhouses. You've got people that generally have higher income so they can afford to spend more on higher quality products. So, so my mantra has always been, we're gonna, we'll spend money wherever we can demonstrate that'll overall improve the quality of the beef. The hygienic profile for Angus includes all those different APDs that affects all different parts of the, uh, the beef cattle industry. Uh, so we can use the, the birth weights and weaning weights and yearling weights to help make decisions at the cooperator herd level or the cow-calf level. And then uh, the growth and efficiency traits for the feedlot. And, and then uh, of course the carcass traits for the uh, once the cattle are hanging on the rail and go to the, to the retail. Programs like Igenity and profiling the animals earlier, it just allows us to more quickly advance our genetics. So the earlier, if we've got three full brothers out of a flush and doing more advanced technology, uh, can identify which of those three are the best in terms of trying to produce a reference sire, we will definitely use the advanced technology. Well, one of the reasons we use Igenity Profile for Angus is that it's a great value uh, for the accuracy that we get. So the fact that we control all of our calves from birth to harvest, we get all the carcass data from our packing plant. Dean gets all that information, so that, in collaboration with the technology, really helps us in terms of you know, advancing our, our herd. And so by using the Igenity Profile for Angus, We've got more accurate EPDs going into our, our selection index. We feel like we're making better decisions, selecting our, uh, particularly our donor cows and our herd sires that go into our breeding program. This test is equivalent to 15 to 16 progeny, and when you compare that to what a cow can do in her lifetime, you know, over eight years she might have six or seven calves. You know, so this is basically twice the productivity of a cow that you can get for roughly a $65 test. Uh, you want to try to find the best cows in your herd if you're going to flush them and sell embryos. If you demonstrate through the test that you've got a special animal, it's going to make animals more marketable. And it helps validate for you that you're on the right track with this particular animal. So you don't invest a whole lot and then wind up, he turns around and he gets the next batch of calves to come through and all the data gets negated. We had a flush that included four females that were based on pedigree estimate were all donor uh, quality type cows. Phenotypically they were all about the same. Uh, when we did the Igenity profile for Angus, we were able to sort down and use uh, the best one out of that group. Uh, we didn't really need to flush all four of them to get the embryos that we needed. We just needed one or two and, and by sorting them out uh, we were able to use the, the best. I, I don't think you're ever where you need to be. You, you know, you have to figure out some way to get better. To the extent that we can continue to increase the marbling and the tenderness, and we can do that more quickly through, through the use of the identity profile uh, vehicle, we're, we're going to continue to do it.